Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video. I've only done one of these on my channel and that was like four years ago and it was the L'Oreal The Nudes Collection. So I thought this would be fun. I'm going to be showing you guys my Revlon lipstick collection and then I'll also tell you guys like my like all-time favorite favorites, the ones that you like have to go out and buy after this video. So I figured I would show you on my lips all the shades that I own and then I'll also show you a swatch on the back of my hand. I wanted to do this video for multiple reasons. One, there are two shades in here that are just like mm, so good and I wanted to put them in like a current beauty favorites but they've been my favorites for like at least two to three years. So then I was like, hmm, I guess I'll just sit down and film my Revlon lipstick collection so you guys can just see all the shades that I picked up. And two, like nobody ever talks about Revlon lipsticks. Is it just me? Like I haven't heard anybody talk about them. So I thought this video would just be fun and entertaining since I have yet to see anybody talk about Revlon lipsticks. So anyways, if you guys would like to see some lipstick swatches, please keep watching. So this is my collection. I have 20 total. I only like the matte and creams. The creams are my favorites, but then I also like the mattes as well. And then I have two of the shines, but unless you're looking for a lipstick topper, which we'll get into that when I show you the swatches of the two shines, I would skip on the shines because their shines they don't really show up, but I do think they make really good lip toppers. They're just like, I wouldn't wear them what am I trying to say they're not my favorite thing to wear by themselves this is what I'm saying so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys from lightest to darkest I think that's how it goes I don't know I literally just put all the numbers in order on the back of the lipstick containers so I figured that's just the way we're gonna go and I'll let you guys know everything now my lips are gonna be bright red because I just rubbed the crap out of them so I don't think I'm gonna put on a lip liner and I'll just tell you, like, if I think, like, a certain lip liner will look good with it, I'll let you know which one I would wear. So the first shade that I'm going to be showing you is a matte. And this is 001 Nude Attitude. This is the packaging. It's just a black case with a gold around the center that says Revlon. And then you can see the shade of the lipstick at the top. And then all the names are listed at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand and then I will put it on my lips. Like... They're such a creamy nude shade. This is more of like a, it's kind of along the lines of MAC Myth. So it's obviously the nudest of all the ones that I have, but it has like a peachy pink undertone and I love it. And like, just goes on so nice. And you can see it's kind of pulling more of like a peach nude on me right now. So pretty, so nice, so affordable. I really like it. And then if you didn't want to wear this shade all over your lips, you could use it for the center of your lips on top of any kind of lipstick just to give that kind of like pouty or fuller look. I'm about to use a paper towel to wipe off each lipstick in between. My lips are going to be so screwed after this. The next shade I have is also a matte. This is 012, so 012 Sky Pink. Again, it's the same packaging. This I love as well. It is a baby pink. You can see the shade right there. I, I love this. I think the nude one that I just showed you would look good with MAC Strip Down or more of like a gray undertone. So you could do Lime Crime, Lime Crime Topist. I really like that one. It's like a gray undertone lip liner or you could also use, what's the other one from MAC that's gray undertone? Stone. I think they'll look really pretty with the first one which was the Nude Attitude. And then this one right here called Sky Pink I think would look really pretty with either a pink lip liner, maybe like a berry lip liner if you wanted, and that would give you more of like an ombre look, or I think it would look really good with a just stripped down shade as well. I think it's so pretty. And the mattes aren't like super drying, like they still feel kind of like a cream formula.
We're only on shade three and my lips are already burning. <laughs> okay, this next one is my favorite. It has been in a favorites video of mine a couple years ago. I love it. If anybody ever asks me, like, okay, let's just say this. Uh, my ultimate, ultimate, all-time favorite lipstick shade is NYX Whipped Caviar and I will never change my mind. That is my favorite forever but this one too is one of the ones that I would recommend buying from Revlon like I would say go get it like right now this is also a matte this is 013 smoked peach it's very very similar to the shade that I was wearing at the beginning of this video I love it it's a matte peachy shade and it's gorgeous like this to me is smoked peach like this is a shade that I would imagine this shade looking like. <laughs> Clearly I'm full of brain for it today but anyways I love this. There is a little bit of like a sheen so it is matte but I feel like when you go like this there's a little bit of like a pink sheen in it and I just I love it. It's so pretty. I think this would look really pretty with a pink lip liner if you wanted to be like kind of fun or I usually wear it with MAC Strip Down or MAC Stone either one I really like I like to use brown lip liners so I can make my lips look fuller so those are like my go-to shades but like I love this it's so pretty next we have 014, this is a matte, and this is called Sultry Samba. This is a hot pink, but it looks super pretty with my shirt. So I like this because, okay, so if I'm comparing this to MAC Candy Yum Yum, which is like the most hot pink lipstick I've ever used, this is not as intense. So if you don't want like a super duper hot pink lip, because I feel like brighter colors like that kind of intimidate me like red intimidates me and like a hot hot pink does too but like I could wear a black lipstick all day so I don't know but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more toned down I think this is the shade for you like I think it's really wearable it's not like so much in your face like matte candy yum yum And that shade does stain, so I think I'm going to put a little bit of foundation. I'm going to try to cover up some of that dark pink so that way we can get like a true swatch from the next few shades. This next one is a cream. This is Rose Velvet 130. And it's a darker kind of brownie wine shade but it's gorgeous and it's so creamy. I love this. This would look so pretty on anywhere between fair skin tones and deep skin tones. I think it's gorgeous. This is like the perfect shade for fall and winter. See how it just glides? Like these creams are no joke. Oh my God, I'm totally screwed up right there, but. So pretty. It's kind of like a rosy brown. On to number six, we have Cherries in the Snow. This is all over Pinterest all the time. This is another one of my favorites. This is a cream and it's in 440, number 440. This is gorgeous. It's like a raspberry shade. I'm telling you, nobody talks about Revlon lipsticks and I don't understand why. Like, do you see that? That's gorgeous. Like, how stunning is that? lip swatches are starting to get a little messy but I love this because I feel like it is like a true raspberry shade like it's kind of fuchsia but it has like a pink undertone I think it's gorgeous I think this is a stunning all year round shade I'm filming a foundation first impression too so like when I go to do my check-ins all my foundation is going to be so screwed like around my lips Next, we have a cream. This is 463 Sassy Mob. Oh. 
This is very similar to Rose Velvet as well. Sorry, I had to look. But I feel like this shade right here, you guys, I feel like this is kind of like a, it's almost like a My Lips But Better darker, in my opinion. And they just glide on. I cannot describe to you how creamy these lipsticks are. So I think this shade is perfect for all year round. I think it looks great, which is like the minimal makeup that I have on right now. I, I think it would look good with a smoky eye. I just really like it. Next up, I have another cream. This is 473 Mauve Night. This is just a darker version of the one I just showed you, but both of them are very similar. I know. Oh my gosh. My lip swatching skills are starting to go down the drain. But anyways, I think this is really pretty. I think it looks good with minimal makeup. I think it would look good with a smoky eye. It's just a little bit darker than, than Sassy Mob that I just showed you. I'll go ahead and compare the two so you can see. So over here we have Sassy Mauve and over here we have Mauve Night. So this one, actually Mauve Night looks a little bit more matte and then Sassy Mauve looks a little bit more cream. But as you can see, there's just like a slight difference. Next up, this is another one that I always see on Pinterest. This is a cream. It's number 477 and this is in the shade Black Cherry and it's dark. This is definitely for you vampy lipstick lovers. This will be perfect for fall and winter, really anytime you want to wear these shades, but this. Do you see this? This is gorgeous. Pretty sure this is supposed to be a dupe for something. To me, this is a true wine shade. I'm trying to apply this as neat as possible, but it's getting a little difficult. But isn't this gorgeous? So stunning. Next, we have another cream. This is in the shade 510 Berry Rich. This is another kind of like rosy, rosy rosewood kind of shade. I like it because it's pretty unique though. Like I think this is like, I know like a true rose shade would either be like red or pink, but like this to me reminds me of that, I don't know if you guys remember that Jaclyn Hill collab she did with Gerard Cosmetics and I think it was called Rosewood. I think it was a lip gloss but that reminds me a lot of this one. I think this is really pretty. Again, I think this is a gorgeous all year round shade. Like I think it's just super unique looking. Next up we have a cream. This is number 616 Wink for Pink. This to me is a true coral pink shade. So this one is probably one of the more like least pigmented from all the ones I've showed you so far, but I think it's really pretty. It's just kind of like a light pink wash to your lips. It's not super, super pigmented, but there's still some color there. I just think it's really pretty. I think it would look really good all year round. I think it would look good with minimal makeup smoky eye, anything you want to do. I think it's really pretty. Next up, we have my favorite shade out of all the Revlon lipsticks. I actually got this for, I think, my birthday or Mother's Day two or three, two or three years ago. Frank actually picked it out for me and he doesn't really know anything about makeup. Well, I think he knows more than like the average guy now just because like we're together and I talk about it all the time, but he's actually the person that turned me on to Revlon lipsticks. I had never even like looked at them before and then he brought this home and I was like, mm, I need more. So this is the shade Primrose. Now I have told you guys in the comments a few times to go buy this. If you ask me like what my favorite lipsticks are from the drugstore, this is a cream. It's 668 and again, it's called Primrose. I love it. My favorite way to wear this is either with a Mavi lip liner or Milani, um, I think it's called uh, Natural. 
on natural uh, lip liner or I can use it with Max Strip Down like a more brown lip liner and then I like to go on top of it with NYX beige lip gloss that's like my favorite lip combo to wear with this I love this shade it's kind of like a it's a pink but it has like a lilac undertone I love it it's super unique to me and I think it's I want to say it's pretty similar to Mac Angel not dupes but similar It's so pretty, like a lilac pink. I love it. We're on to the third row, so we only have eight left. The next one we have is a cream. It's 671 in the shade Mink. This is a brown shade. I love this. I love brown shade lipsticks. I think they're just like, I just really like brown shades of lipsticks. This one is kind of like a caramel-ish shade. So if you do like one swipe, you get more of like a tan shade. See, and then when you do a couple, you can build it up to like a darker brown. Kind of reminds me of like a toffee shade. I think it's really pretty. I think it looks nice on like my fair skin right now. I also think it looks really good with a tan and I think it would be a really pretty like nudie shade on deeper skin tones. Now I'm going to be showing you another cream. This is 672 Brazilian Tan. This to me is a kind of like peachy orange undertone brown. Very unique shade. See what I mean? It's like super unique. I don't really know exactly how to describe it. I almost think that this would look really pretty to mixed with smoked peach if you wanted to do kind of like this everywhere and then put the smoked peach or like an orangey lipstick in the center. I think that would be gorgeous. This next one I think is going to be perfect for spring and summer. This is a cream. It's number 674 and it's in the shade Coral Berry. I love like see this would look really pretty with that last shade I just showed you <laughs> I love this I love it. it looks a little bit metallic oh my gosh you guys this is like the summer shade to go to go to summer shade if you can see there is like a little bit of like a metallic sheen to it I think that's what makes this shade like unique it's like a gold metallic isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh. Like, I cannot wait to get, like, a little bit more tan and then wear this. Like, oh. Another orange shade. This is a cream. 677 Siren. This is a carrot shade. It's so smooth. So pigmented. It's just gorgeous. I mean, I guess not everybody is an orange lipstick fan, but I am, especially for the summertime. And I even like to wear orange lipsticks, like, I don't know, like the entire month of October because it just reminds me of pumpkins. But I love this. This is really pretty, too. Next, we have a cream. This is 720 Fire and Ice. This is another, like, unique shade to me. It's like a pink red but do you see how pigmented that is like this is gorgeous I really like that it's like a pinky red shade it's so pretty it reminds me of Mac rentlessly is it called rentlessly red I think that's what it is <laughs> I totally just messed that up yeah I think that's as good as we're gonna get <laughs> You can see it's like such a pretty shade. We have three left. This next one, this is the last cream in matte I'm going to be showing you. This is 750 Kiss Me Coral. This is like a darker carrot shade. Isn't that stunning? This will look so pretty all over the lips and then one of the other orange shades that I showed you, even like the shade Siren, which was like the true carrot shade. I like this too. 
and like it's just crazy because like some of these shades are like so unique to me i just like cannot believe that nobody's talking about them like i haven't seen other lipstick shades like these some of these anyways So I'm going to be showing you the only two shines that I have. This first one is a pearl, or I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, I totally messed up from the beginning of the video. I told you that I didn't like the shines. I forgot. Revlon has four different formulas that I'm aware of. They have the cream, a matte, they have pearl, sheer, and then they have a shine. So the shines I don't like at all. I did have a couple of those and I did give them away. So I don't like the shines at all. They're just not my cup of tea. But this shade that I'm going to show you is a pearl. It's 025 Skyline Pink. I think this would be a really pretty nude lipstick topper. It does have like a pearl shade. You'll see here in a second. It's very, very, very light. You might not even be able to see it. But it's, a, it's like a white pink metallic shade. And it's not, you can see, it's giving me like 2000 vibes. It's not a shade that I would wear by itself. But if I was wearing, I mean, it looks pretty by itself, but it's just not, it's not for me. I think it would look really pretty on top of a liquid lipstick, like maybe either like a light pink that you just want like a little bit of like metallic shine in the middle or on the cupid's bow. I think it would look really pretty on top of a nude lipstick. Um, whenever I do like lipstick, toppers I usually top my liquid lipsticks I don't necessarily go on top of like a regular lipstick with another lipstick I just don't really do that unless I'm making the center of my lips like a more of like a nudie shade but this is really pretty it's kind of like xenon <laughs> do you guys remember that Disney movie <sighs> that's when TV was good we have officially done 19 lipstick swatches on my lips this is a sheer this is 865 peach parfait so this one is a little bit more pigmented than the other one I just showed you and I think this would be really pretty as a lipstick topper too or if you wanted to throw this on and throw a gloss on top of it I think it'd be really pretty but it is metallic it's not as pigmented as the creams and mattes but like I said if you just want like a wash of color this is really pretty you can put a lipstick or a lip gloss on top you could wear it by itself but I, if I'm going to wear this, I'm going to put a lip gloss on top. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching me swatch 20 lipsticks. Let me know in the comments below which shades are your favorite. And let me know what you have in your collection that you think that I need to go out and buy. And tell me also in the comments if you think that Revlon lipsticks are super underrated. Like people need to check these out. They're so good. Um, did I already say thank you for watching? I don't even know. But if I didn't, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want me to continue to do like lipstick swatches because I will totally do that if you guys are interested in it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.